when I first joined the committee, I started this document trying to track what I would call the outpost effect, where people would show an outpost and then it would be like a springboard. So it was almost like Outpost got the credit for starting the career of so many artists. There's over 60 former committee members now. And we have talked about how that Outpost experience is almost like doing a master's in gallery management. So people take this knowledge and then use it and go on and work in like incredible and interesting places. As much as it springboards artists, it springboards the committee as well, because it's so rare that you can work your way up in an institution as quickly as you can at Outpost. I am the Diversity and Inclusion Officer at Outpost and I report to Maddie, who is the chair. We were founded in 2004. I think there were conversations um, with Linda Morris, who was running East International. And um, there were some conversations about starting an artist-led space. And um, she very much backed it. And I know that she funded it partially. There was £20,000 that came from her budget to, to help get it going. And... It was based upon the model that Transmission used. We are Arts Council and studio funded. But yeah, we existed for a decade without any funding from the studios. And it took a while to build up that funding. They don't, they, they coexist. They're, there's a symbiosis. Yeah, we run a few activities there. There's a big project space there that mm. we use when we can. For um, residencies. Yeah, but it's also up for grabs for studio holders to do their own shows there. So they sort of get priority with it, which is mm. A-OK. -okay. And as mentioned, the program activity of activity we have here is more than enough for us to facilitate. What's interesting about uh, the way we function is because we're Arts Council funded, a committee will write a bid and then they don't carry it out yeah. because it takes a while to be accepted and then the committee that write the bid leave and a committee who didn't write the bid then carry out the activity. The last program that was written, uh, the bid that we took to the Arts Council was focused on community and residency programme we ran. We specifically sought out artists who had no formal training um, and artists from a low socioeconomic background. Um, that was the priority with that bid. Mm -hmm. But the priority shifts with every committee. There's always been a debate here about whether people should be paid for what they do or not. I think definitely from my point of view, People have to be paid. The economy has changed so much since Outpost was founded. And if it maintains this volunteer role as the people running the gallery, and you just cut off an entire, entire chunk of society. People who can afford to volunteer will run the gallery. And those who can't afford to volunteer and that are excluded entirely. Changes the demographic pull hugely. Totally. Yeah. And kind of under undermines the ethos. Yeah. Exactly. It is very difficult because it, it does change the dynamic. As soon as you have market forces driving into the heart of something like an artist-led space, it, it, it's going to change the dynamic. We sort of run through it, health the leather, and then everyone leaves burnt out <laughs> and bitter. <laughs> but it means we have like an incredible programme of activity. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's very frenetic.